turn the key to on position. Move the shifter back so you can access the ashtray. Pull out the ashtray. You should see two T25 screws. Remove those screws. Make sure not to drop them in the crack. Next, pull the radio out. Simply pop the tabs out and pull the radio out. There's nothing holding the radio. It's simply pushed in. Next, you will see two spring-loaded tabs on both sides of the pocket where the radio used to sit. Those tabs have to be pulled towards the inside to release the wooden bezel. Use a pick or screwdriver and try to pull both of them at the same time while pulling the wooden bezel. On the opposite side, on the left side, near the window, the wooden bezel has four tabs, two on top and two on the bottom. Just simply place a flat screwdriver and try to pry it out near those snaps and the bezel should come out. Rest of the bezel is just simply snapped into a dash with the spring loaded tabs. There are two plastic spring loaded tabs that hold the bezel next to the steering wheel, one on top, one on the bottom. Now to pull the black plastic trim, there's two little plastic covers hiding the uh, T25 screws right above the cluster. There are seven screws T25 holding the black trim piece. The vents have to be moved to up position to expose three of the screws. There's five screws on top and two screws on the bottom. All T25. Now it's going to take some work. It doesn't come out easily. You have to tilt steering wheel down. I was struggling for a couple minutes to get that out but eventually does come out. After that you can see the cluster which has four screws one screw in each corner T25 which hold the cluster. Simply remove those screws and pull the cluster out. Also for the heating element that controls the heat there's four screws one in each corner same deal, remove the screws and pull the heating element out and you can unplug the wires from the back. Okay, thanks for watching.